Hey guys, this is Gabby Fernandez from IMG, and I wanted to talk to you today about engagement studios. So an engagement studio is a robust lead nurturing tool in account engagement that you can adapt to your marketing efforts or what you want to target with that. The way that you find your engagement studio is going by automations, engagement studio, and here you will find the list, but you can also click and add an engagement program and start a new one. It's very, very, very easy. The first thing that you're going to see in the system is that you will have to add a name and you can name this as you need to. You can add a folder or select the one that comes to default with the system and add a description. The description is basically telling your team what is this program about just for everyone to be aware of this. You can add a recipient list, everyone who's going to receive or wants to enter this journey and a suppression list is that that list of everyone that you do not want them to get into this program. Then you also have the option to select when this program is going to be running on. You can select the dates, the times, and the time zone it's going to run in. Going to be running. At the very bottom, you also have an extra um, option that allows you to um, set up if, if you want uh, your prospects to re-enter this program and how many days you want it to wait till they enter this program. Also if you want it to be unlimited or they can just re-enter so many times. Once you have this ready, it lets you um, save it and go in so you can start building your program. So the way that uh, account engagement works is, is it consists on conditional steps that uh, defines the journey of your prospects. Um, you can decide the list you're going to use and build it accordingly to your marketing efforts or if, even if it's communication efforts. A little, a little bit about the engagement studio, you will have your building area, your test area that actually lets you see how the program is going to be um, developing and the times it's going to take for each step to be completed. You have the reported area that's going to be available only when the program is active and your activity that allows that it will show you like who did what and when. Inside your engagement studio, you also will find items that will um, let you make it or build it based on the specific information. You have your actions, and the actions is something that the prospect is going to do, like um, are how you're going to start that program. It can be sending an email out, adding to a list, um, et cetera. If we click right here, we're going to see all the options. You can adjust the score, apply the tag, assign a user. So those are considered actions. Inside eight actions, you also have the option to set up when this action is going to happen and the item that you want to be working with. You also have triggers. So the triggers are listening for an event or something that the prospect did. For example, if they open an email, they click on a link if they filled out a form. Once you select the um, trigger that you want to listen to, you will select which one is specific. For example, any form was completed or a specific form, and you will select which one you want to use. And also the time frames. So if you want to listen to this for so many days, um, it's going to be checking every single day, or you want to wait to the very last day. Once you have this information in, um, the system is going to give you a yes and no path, and this is where you start making your engagement program very, very robust. Um, you can always select, like, if they do click on, if they did click on a link, then I want to modify the score, put it on a list. If they did not, um, then I just want them to send another email and try to get them to click on the link. Um, we also have rules. The rules, um, they define a path. Is based on criteria. That criteria can be the user assigned, if they're in a list, if they have a specific information in a custom, a prospect custom field or a prospect default field, etc. So every time that you select one of this, it gives you the same exact options. You can select which field you want to check and the information in there. If that is checked for how long, and once you select it, again you have your yes or no path. So these are the items that allows you to build your engagement program and make it very, very specific. One of the tips or tricks that are recommended is to avoid the zero day waitings because that means that automatically 
it will evaluate automatically and keep going. You don't want that to happen with triggers and rules. You want it to give it some time for the system or for people to get either fill out their form or have a field modified. Um, don't start a program with a trigger step because um, if 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 it is possible that in your program once it starts it might miss people on the way so you always have to give it time to and to start engaging in your program before evaluating but there are some cases that if you have established database a trigger can work at the beginning or um, a rule um, so avoid bottlenecks um, set always a reminder to check your reports the good thing about account engagement is engagement studio is that it's going to be running and you can set up the dates that you want to evaluate and see how the program is doing. Um, one of the a few common uses of the engagement studio are email campaigns, pre-sale programs, nurture potential leads, uh, leads re retain an existing co customer, um, re-engaging with customers that have been inactive for a very long time, even onboarding for customers. So there is a lot that you can do with account engagement. It's one of the greatest tools in the system, and it will help you so much to automate your process and make your communication better with the clients. I hope you find this very helpful. If there is any questions, feel free to reach back to us. Have a great day.